Brother Studios here with you today for another awesome tutorial on GIMP. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a awesome glossy button type thing. Okay, let's go ahead and open up GIMP. Here we go. And let's create a new layer. And let's just, yep, foreground's right. Okay, and let's go to our ellipse select tool. Go down here, make sure our mode's on this one, first one. And yeah, that looks great. Let's go ahead and create a circle. Let's go ahead and hold shift to do a perfect circle. It's like this. Okay, go ahead and hit enter. And now what we're gonna do is grab our gradient tool. Stroke, oops, wrong one. And we're gonna go to BGD, FG. Okay, perfect, let's just do that, all right. Now what we're going to do is enter the glossy part of it, the magic. Okay, and this is just going to be the beginning of the gloss. Let's go to, yeah, let's keep it to FG to transparent. Go to a shape, radial. Okay, and what you're going to try and do is try to get it straight in the middle. Set it, yeah, it's very hard to do. What you think may be the middle is probably not. Okay, that'll do for now. But you may have to do it several times. Okay. Bum -ba -da -bum. Now's the part where it's going to look really nice. So what you want to do is go to your select tool right here. And go to this last uh, button right here. Intersect. And you're just going to go ahead and build something. Well, let's see how this looks right now. Gonna, I usually have to do it several times because I'm not really that great at it. Yeah, hold on. Build it from the side there. Okay. All right. Well, let's see how that looks. Let's go to select none to see. Okay, it's good, but not the best. But here, yeah, that looks pretty good. If you want the light to be over there, it's great. Okay, so you can see there. So I'm just going gonna. Oops. Go ahead and go like that. Right, just like there. And, okay, select none, and there you can see it's a button, Real, really neat. Okay, now we're going to grab our text tool. Um, I have the font on Vivaldi, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw a box like this. Okay, so, well, that's giant, enormous, right, close, band of Brothers Studios. Okay. Now let's go ahead. It's kind of hard to fit it all in here. Oops, how can we make it better? That's definitely not going to work. Okay, let's just expand this real fast. There we go. Close. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, there we'll do that. Let's change the text color. Let's go to... Let's pinpoint something out of here. Uh, okay, white's fine. Okay, here we go. Um, no, not really. That's not going to work. I'm just going to go to black, I guess. There we go. And let's turn it down a tad. Whoop. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to trim this up a bit. And as you can see, there's just one heck load of a nice button right there. Okay, and if you want to continue, I'm gonna bringing I'm bringing out another tutorial very soon on how to create a reflection that you can add to this, and it it will make it look a hundred times better. I just don't have time to put it in right now. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial on GIMP, and I hope you enjoy the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.